putting from down under. This is not the day for me to be trying to record an interview, uh, sorry, uh, a, 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 a video, because uh, this is the very information that I suspect uh, that the authorities don't want to, uh, to to get out. When I checked, this appeared when I woke up on the Moscow Times, uh, but I looked in vain for anything on the BBC and The Guardian, which you would think in normal circumstances would be right on to major um, climate news, but of course they're not. So there's this very brief thing that came from the Moscow Times, which is kind of Moscow's English language uh, newspaper. Uh, scientists discover record methane emission in the Russian Arctic. Researchers were able to see the greenhouse gas bubbling through the seawater. A, a group of scientific researchers has discovered a record methane emission coming from the Eastern, Eastern Siberian Sea expedition organizer Tomsk Polytechnic University said in a statement. Now that's Igor Semilyetov, who is the research partner for Natalia Shachova. Um, uh, the scientists found concentrations of the greenhouse gas which can significantly influence the planet's climate up to nine times the global average. This is the most powerful gas fountain I've ever seen, said Igor Similetov, uh, the head of the expedition and TPU professor. No one has ever recorded anything like this before. Nearly 80 scientists from Russia, China and Sweden travelled the eastern Arctic to uh, study uh, methane emissions. The statement said that while the uh, researchers determined the exact location of the greenhouse gas fountain using instruments, it was so large that they were able to see it bubbling through seawater with their own eyes. So I'll put the links for all of these things in the description box uh, if I ever get this uh, movie out. Um, uh, but it made its way surprisingly into uh, into Newsweek, uh, and also in the Telegraph, which has traditionally been a climate change denying uh, newspaper, which is rather strange. So why wouldn't it make uh, it into the BBC or the Guardian? Well, you have to ask yourself that question. So the headline here, sea boiling with methane discovered in Siberia. No one has ever recorded anything like this before. Oh, sorry, it's going around like a like a, uh, sorry about this. Okay, scientists in Siberia have discovered an area of sea that is boiling with methane, with bubbles that can be scooped from the water with buckets. Researchers on an expedition to the East Siberian Sea said the methane fountain was unlike anything they had seen before, with concentration of the gas in the regions to be six or seven times higher than the global average. The team, led by Igor Semelyatov from Tomsk Polytechnic University in Russia, travelled to an area of the eastern Arctic previously known to produce methane fountains. They were studying the environmental consequences of permafrost uh, thawing uh, beneath the ocean. And then they go into sort of general kind of stuff. Um, and then they they give this. Well, let's have a look, another look at this. Actually, um, this came out in 2016. Footage emerged of the ground wobbling like jelly. So this this made quite a um, an impression back then. So the computer is very, very unresponsive today. But that's that's all. Okay. In the latest expedition to chart 
methane emissions coming from the ocean, researchers analysed the water around Bennett Island, taking samples of seawater and sediments. In one area, however, they found something unexpected, an extremely sharp increase in the concentration of atmospheric methane. According to a statement from the Tomsk Polytechnic University, it was six to seven times higher than average. They then noticed an area of water around four to five square metres uh, that was boiling with uh, methane bubbles, the, the statement said. This could be scooped out with buckets, the researchers said. After identifying the fountain, the team was able to take samples directly from it. Methane levels around the fountain were nine times higher than average global concentrations. So this is the most powerful gas fountain I've ever seen, Similiatov said, according to translation from the Moscow Times. No one has ever recorded anything like this before. After identifying the fountain, the team was able to take samples directly from it. Methane levels around the, the, um, the fountain were nine times higher than the average global concentrations. The following day, they found another methane fountain and conducted a comprehensive analysis of it. Sergei Nikiforov, a journalist who took part in the expedition, said there will now be more research and experiments in this part of the ocean. So that uh, appears to be it. So, yeah, you would wonder why uh, there's kind of a fairly near silence that should be right across the world media and especially in those publications that pride themselves on covering um, uh, climate change matters. Anyway, uh, I had a follow-up to do on this and I might have to post it separately when and if I get it made because uh, two attempts to export the file um, completely failed and that happens whenever I'm dealing with sensitive material that well, seems to in my mind anyway so that's me from uh, Seymour